Rate indicator UWT6008 allows you to visualize separately the weight of several load cells, up to 8 load cells. The weight instrument acquires the load cell signal expressed in millivolt per volt and converts it in weight value. UWT6008 owns an analogical digital converter with a resolution of 24 bit. In this case, you will see four separate weights expressed in kilo. The weight distribution in percentage and the load cell signal expressed in millivolt per volt. UWT6008 does not need any junction box. It is able to monitor every single load cell and to emulate one or more malfunctioning load cells. In this way, the weighing system can keep working even when there are faults and once the load cell is replaced with another one, UWT6008 recognizes the new load cell and applies the same settings automatically. Press PRG and SET for some seconds and wait until the info menu appears. With the arrows you can change the menu visualization. Confirm the calibration menu with the button PRG. The calibration menu will ask you the load cells number, the measurement unit, the resolution of the system, the total capacity, the sensitivity, the full scale and the dead load. Once you have defined these settings, the weighing instrument automatically calibrates. Let's go on with the simulation. Insert the load cells number, in this example 4. You can change this number by pressing arrow up or arrow down, and you can confirm with PRG. Now, choose the measurement unit, which can be expressed in kilograms, grams, pounds, tons, newton and kilonewton. In this case, the weight unit will be kilograms. The minimum resolution will be 10 grams and the total capacity of our system will be the sum of every single cell capacity. With the third key, zero, you can move from units, tens and hundreds. And with the up and down arrows, you can increase or decrease the value. You always confirm with the PRG key. Later, set the sensitivity values of every single cell. Here you can see the sensitivity number 1 and the related value. If necessary, you can change the other values. Press Enter or rather PRG and set the desired value. Once you have set the sensitivity values, go back with the zero key. Select full scale to set the value that corresponds to the effective use of the weighing system. This value must not be the maximum value of capacity, in this case 15 kilos. After that you can close the setup menu by pressing the zero key and the weighing instrument will automatically calibrate. It will approximately indicate the values on the system. Before closing this menu, you will be asked to save the changes. Confirm with PRG. The displayed weight is the weight of the structure that can be set in the preload parameter dead load in the previous menu. As alternative, you can perform a calibration with a known weight. In order to calibrate the instrument with a known weight, press PRG and SET to enter the menu. With the up and down arrows, search for the setup menu and confirm the entrance with PRG. Enter the calibration menu and confirm with PRG. Choose the type of calibration you want to perform, with a known weight or datasheet. That is manual input of sensitivity and weight values. In this case, we will see the calibration with a known weight. 
Make sure that the WAIN system is unloaded and if not, clear the system until it will show zero. Place some known weights on the system and perform the full-scale calibration. Once you have loaded the weight and the display shows it, press set. Insert the value of the weight loaded, in this case 10 kilos, and confirm with PRG. The calibration is over. Confirm with PRG and press more times the zero key in order to close the setup menu. Save the data. The system is now calibrated. Unload the weighing system so that the display shows zero and apply a different weight in order to verify the correct calibration. system may have some deviations on the angular loads. In this case, you adjust these differences by a process called equalization of corners. Enter the setup menu. Press PRG plus set. Select setup and confirm with PRG. The weighing system can be automatically regulated by selecting the automatic equalization. The weight indicator UWT6008 will help you during the weighing activities by telling you where you have to place the known weight. Please, remember that the weighing system has to be unloaded in order to perform the right process. Now, insert the weight value of the sample that will be placed on the weighing system. In this case, 5 kilos. And confirm with PRG. As indicated on the display, apply the load on the load cell number 1. If the system is correctly loaded, you will see that the channel number 1 will weigh more than the others. Move the sample weight to the load cell number 2. And confirm with PRG. Repeat the same process for the other load cells. Once you have completed the weight acquisition procedure, Confirm with PRG and close the menu by pressing the zero key more times. Save the changes. Now, if the equalization was successful, you will receive the same weight value on all load cells. If you place the load in the middle of the system, you will notice that the load is evenly distributed. Now, let's simulate a fault in the weighing system. In order to show you a simulation, a load cell, in this case channel number 2, will be disconnected. The weighing instrument will inform you that a problem is occurring. Press the zero key to change menu and look at the division of the single weights. In the channel number 2, you will see the OL signal. By pressing PRG, an S will automatically appear on the display. This means that channel number 2 is now simulated. A new value will be attributed and the system will continue to work. When a new cell will be placed, the system will recognize it 
and the S signal will be replaced by the weight value.